You know, we, uh, we always have a lot of fun when this guy's here. Very talented comedian. He's starring in a movie called Undercover Brother. It opens nationwide on May 31st. Please give it up, Mr. Dave Chappelle. Check out the dogs? Oh my God, man. <laughs> if I could find a human counterpart for that tongue dog. <laughs> my goodness gracious. That's amazing. One. <laughs> was one of the most disgusting and wonderful things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, man. How you been? You good? Yeah, I'm fantastic, man. I'm, I'm sorry it's my first time in LA for a while, so. Yeah. I've been fake smiling all day. <laughs> yeah. I saw your baby, very nice. Got babies. How old's the baby now? He got he's eighteen months now. Oh, that's very cool. He can't quite talk yet, but that's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, yeah. For him to talk. Yeah. Cause when have you ever had a conversation with a guy that lived in your balls, you know? <laughs> Who yeah. else is in there? Yeah, that's a... I think that would be my first question, too, <laughs> in talking to you. Were you a good kid as a kid? Were you a... I hope it wasn't like me, man. I got suspended from uh, junior high school 23 times. <laughs> <laughs> and that's true, 23 times, man. Because it's puberty, you know what I mean? And, and I got immune to punishment. How do you mean it? What do you mean immune? Well, like, they put me in detention. But it's like I could stay in detention longer than the teacher. The teacher got a life outside of school. All my buddies is in detention with me. <laughs> and then they give me like the out of school suspension. It was like a vacation. You know? yeah. So I just got in trouble all the yeah. time. And they had a strict, you know, don't encourage David policy. Like, don't encourage them. Like, yeah, they do. Well, what kind of, I mean, what kind of things would you do? I mean, were you dangerous with these? I, well, I, I wasn't dangerous. But if I did these things now, I'd definitely be in jail. Yeah. <laughs> Times are different. The Times are different. For instance, I got hold of my teacher's home phone numbers. Long story. So I start calling in like these threats. <laughs> Ooh, that's... It was funny to me. I called my English teacher. I'd be like, is this Mr. Johnson? And he was like, yes, it is. Who might this be? It's like, you're a dead man, Johnson. <laughs> so he's like freaking out. He's like, who is this? Don't worry about that punk. You're going to die. <laughs> Unless you change David Chappelle's grades. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how he caught me. You no, know we used to do. We did this once. We we got our principal, Mr. Wormwood, our principal's phone number. We took an ad out in the paper. '66 <laughs> Corvette, 427. Guy died in it. Can't get rid of smell. Will sell cheap, like $400. <laughs> I'll call after 10, and the phone would just ring, and we would call. It, There's no Corvette here, and you just hang up the phone. <laughs> Fabulous, fabulous. Well, see, that's an elaborate prank. I never thought of getting advertisements involved. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, that's like you know, bring a lot of it. elements into it. Now, we were talking backstage. What were you talking about the riots? About being 10 years? Yeah, man, 10 years. And they asked me, and the whole thing is it getting better. And I don't know, but I'll tell you, when the riots happened, I was actually in L.A. I was doing yeah. my first television pilot, and I was the only black dude on the set. So I felt very alone. And then suddenly these riots happened all around the set and i'm like the most popular guy like dave you want to go to lunch <laughs> like somehow do i have diplomatic immunity from being with me like well i'll get an ass kicked but okay let's go now didn't you have a buddy or something that was well yeah my buddy got arrested during the riots yeah and that was like the first time i'd ever bailed somebody out of jail oh, oh okay which is scary because that's like you know walking right into the belly of the beast right right <laughs> I had to look now threatening as possible, like, hey, how are you, you know, I'm here to bail out my buddy. <laughs> Talking that different voice. It's yeah, like, yeah, that's, I actually that's, did. That's the, that's the white guy voice. Hi, I'm here to bail out my buddy. Wasn't that a white not, guy voice? I know, that sounded like a white guy voice. Not quite, but very close. That was my <laughs> Wally Cleaver kind of, you know, I'm not like the others kind of voice. <laughs> so what happens? You get out of the police station. Well, I go there. You know, I believe the fear is that, you know, the police, you don't want to go in there. Because, oh, while you're here, you might fit a description. Why don't you come back here and we'll process it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't want to 
don't get put in the lineup. Yeah. You, know. <laughs> you, you know the lineup. I know the lineup, yeah. And especially if it's one of them good lineups where all the guys kind of look like you. <laughs> he been in the lineup, like, oh my God, they do kind of look like me. Yeah. Were you actually in the lineup? Oh, yeah, I've been in the lineup before. I would try to change my face and stuff like that. You know. <laughs> and a lady actually almost picked me. She was like, wait a minute, this guy, he, he looks familiar. It's like, bitch, I've been on television. Be careful, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break. More with Dave Chappelle right after this. Be back with Dave. Brother. That's you exactly brother. right. You gotta say brother. Undercover brother. That is a good black dude. Well, thank you. You know, I'm an honorary <laughs> black man. Did you? I was made honorary black man. You got your street creds. Yeah, that's what it is. Let's do a drive-by after this. Yeah. <laughs> now, tell me about what is the movie about? Tell me what's it about. Oh, it's actually, uh, it's every black man's, I'd say, fantasy and nightmare wrapped into the same movie. Really? Yeah, <laughs> because the nightmare angle is that it is all a conspiracy. That there's one single solitary white man that's causing racial strife all throughout America. One guy. One guy. I think his name is Ernie. Let's get it. <laughs> the fantasy part is that there's a group of black people that actually do battle with this guy and his evil forces, the Brotherhood, and uh, I play conspiracy brother. Your conspiracy brother? Yeah, every black dude uh, knows a guy that thinks everything is a conspiracy. <laughs> I, I am like the extreme of this phenomenon. Like, this is a guy that he'll watch the news, you know, that little ticker tape at the bottom right. of the news. You know, he'll think that's a secret language that only white people can read with the real news on it. <laughs> and they tell us it's the stock reports. He's like crazy. He's wrong most of the time, and sometimes he's right. Yeah. Um, and what is this clip we're going to see? This is you talking to... This is me probably saying something real crazy. Okay. I don't know exactly what it is, but I, I guarantee you I'm saying something insane. And who's Undercover Brother? Is that Eddie? Eddie Griffin? Uh, oh, Eddie Griffin plays Undercover Brother. He did an incredible job. They got Denise Richards in here. We got Chris Kattan. We got Action. We got, oh, we got Shy McBride. We got everybody. Black people, white people together. It's great. Let's take a look. Undercover Brother. Here we go. What has a man got to do with fried chicken? Is that his big plan to get black people to eat junk food? Open your eyes, Undercover Brother. This has to do with discrediting the general. That is the white man's tactique. He don't want no black president. You've seen it all through history. They never give black man credit. Jesus Christ, black man. Babe Ruth, black man. Madonna, sleeps with black men. Think about it. Now you're going to be, uh, you, you've done a lot of corresponding for us. You did the Olympics, did a great job on that. It was a lot of fun. You're going to cover the uh, Tyson Lewis fight for us? Yes, I am. I'm very excited about that. This will be my uh, first heavyweight fight I'm going to. Oh, forever? Ever, okay. man. I'm, I, I want to see a fight. All right, so now, what do you got? now you don't want to take sides, right, at this point? No, nah, because I got to meet both of these guys. <laughs> really? Really? Right. Have, have you ever met Lewis? I've met both of these guys. I've met uh, uh, Lennox Lewis a few times. Right, right. And uh, I met Mike Tyson a few times. Believe it or not, they're both nice guys. They were, Mike Tyson was very nice to me, man. Like, he was? Yeah. I, what not can scary? I, I mean, I'm not going to say he wasn't scary to me, but <laughs> that's just because I've only seen him beat people up. But just talking to him, he was just real nice. Because no, I knew he said something about getting the comics. Yeah, I don't joke about Mike Tyson. I, I, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Really? Yeah, man, we but you joke about everybody. I've seen you go after everything. Are you telling me you're right. backing away from yeah. Mike Tyson? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'll tell Dave Chappelle. Look, I'll tell jokes about Al Gore because Al Gore can't whoop my ass. But Mike Tyson, <laughs> you hurt me. So you're going to be in Memphis all week, right, Forrest? Yeah, I'll be in Memphis all week. It'll be my uh, second time to Memphis. I'm going to go to Elvis's house, everything. I'm going to be doing it all. Right. Because your first report is on the 4th, I guess. You're going to do the weigh-in and everything. Now I'm going to do the weigh-in. If there's a fight, I'm going to be right there ducking and covering. Yeah, and you think you get an interview with both Tyson and Lewis? That's my hope, man. Yeah. I'm hoping yeah. that they'll both uh, sit down and talk to me for a minute. Yeah. If Guys, if you're watching, I'm a nice dude, man. I, I ain't coming to get nobody. I just want to have some fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Just talk to me. Don't hurt All me. All right. So the movie is Undercover Brother. It opens on the 31st. Dave Chappelle, thank you, buddy. Good job. Be right back with Mark Anthony right after. Right, folks. Folks.
As you know, the big uh, Lewis Tyson fight uh, this Saturday, Memphis, Tennessee. We sent our buddy Dave Chappelle down there to cover the event, sir, for Fight Week. He's there right now. Let's check with him live via satellite. Dave, are you there? Dave Chappelle. Hey, hey. There he is. What's up, Dave? Now, Dave, before we uh, go on, I want to congratulate you. Your movie, Undercover Brother, doing very well. Oh, thank you, man. There you are. Look there out, Jar Jar Banks. I'm on your ass. <laughs> Now, exactly where are you in Memphis? I'm on the roof of the uh, Elvis Presley restaurant. The roof? Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Peanut butter and uh, banana sandwiches? You go with those, do you? Oh, yeah. No wonder he was so fat. Right, all right. Now, is there a big crowd down there? Nah, man, it's kind of <laughs> slow right now. <laughs> I guess that's the power of movies, huh? Yeah. Yeah, everyone was screaming, jump! <laughs> now, the last time we saw you at the Olympics, you did a great job at the Olympics in Salt Lake City. Now, is, is there a big difference between Salt Lake and Memphis? Oh, yeah, man. See, Memphis is like the home of the blues. Salt Lake, that's the home of the, of the whites. Home of the whites. <laughs> yeah. White <laughs> Africa. Right, right. <laughs> How hot is it there? Is it hot out? Well, I don't want to say it's hot, but my, uh, my nuts are forming some sort of adhesive. Really? <laughs> you know, that's more information I really wanted to know. I... Sorry to tell that's you about that. That's kind of more interesting the temperature, but that's okay. Listen, now you're there to cover the big Lewis Tyson fight. Is this your first time seeing a, a fight? I mean, I see him on the subway all the time. This is yeah. the <laughs> first time I paid for a fight. Yeah. <laughs> Now, 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 those tickets are a lot of money, like two grand or something. What if, like, what if Tyson bites Lewis and the fight ends early? What if he bites him? Well, I don't know if you ever had English food, but I doubt he'll bite him. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> and you've had a lot of English food, have you, Dave? Uh, once is all I needed. <laughs> really? <laughs> now, I understand you went to the Tyson uh, press conference today. Where, where was that at? Oh, this is kind of crazy. The, the press conference was actually in Mississippi. So driving through, we saw all the cotton fields, and in one cotton field, there had to be what was, uh, i say like $2 million worth of equipment. Now, I don't know what the equipment does, but I do know whatever it does, black people used to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so what you're saying is those machines put those people out of work. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, you got screwed again. <laughs> Oh, well, did anything happen at the press conference? What did Tyson do? Did he go nuts? What happened? Anything? Oh, a lot of funny stuff happened, but I ain't making no Mike Tyson jokes. I told you that last time. No. no what, a, what, a, what is that? You got to do some Tyson jokes. Mm-mm. Man, I got a son. I love my son very much. <laughs> the thought of that kid in between two slices of bread with Mike Tyson biting him. <laughs> what, what's next for you? What do you got coming up next? Well, tonight, I'm going uh, to check out Beale Street. Right. And then tomorrow, Lennox Lewis is having his uh, big press conference, so I'm hoping some, some drama jumps off there. And other than that, I'm just going to get out the heat. All right. All right, we'll see you later. You'll have another report for us Thursday night. Dave Chappelle, yeah, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Jay. We'll be right back with Ross, the intern, and the beautiful Ashley 